Only after 11 rapes in three days in her state, Chief Minister Mayavati hit out at the opposition, blaming it for politicizing the incidents. But she also announced tough action. She has called a meeting of top police officers on the 27th of this month and promised that officials shielding culprits will be dealt with in a harsh manner. She's also ordered changes. Rape cases, she says, must be disposed of within six months. Rape will also be made a non-bailable offence. Let's just look at that. <laughs> Another young daughter allegedly raped, this time in Bagpat in Western UP. With fresh cases being added every day, the human story in each family, the pain and torture and suffering of each victim buried under statistics. This teenager's dead body, however, tells some part of that story. On Tuesday morning, she was found hanging in her home. Like any other day, she had gone for her sewing class on Monday. On the way home, she stopped at a friend's house whose two brothers were both waiting, waiting to rape this young girl, alleges the family. By evening, the whole village knew about the rape. What went through her mind will now never be known, but the fear, shame and trauma of it all drove her to take her own life. Shockingly, just in the last 24 hours, there have been four other rapes of minors in several districts across the state, forcing the chief minister to break her silence on the continuing lawlessness in her state. In the face of these incidents, her defense sounding hollow. उनको तथा उनके परिवार जनों को ये आश्वासन दिलाना चाहती हूँ कि दोषियों के विरुद्ध मेरी सरकार सख्त से सख्त कार्रवाई करेगी। राष्ट्रीय अपराध अभिलेख ब्यूरो की रिपोर्ट के अनुसार जहाँ हमारे राज्य में अन्य राज्यों की तुलना में महिलाओं के विरुद्ध हुए अपराधों में काफी कमी आई है। The opposition says the action taken is too little. कोई कार्रवाई नहीं होता, कोई अरेस्ट नहीं होता, ट्रायल नहीं होता, सिर्फ एक दो पुलिस कर्मचारियों को चेंज और शिफ्ट करती है। मायावती's absolute majority in 2007 was largely hinged on her promise of a safer state, but just the last few days have shown that she's been unable to keep even her women safe. Now, as she spoke for more than 30 minutes today, there were little or no words of consolation for the victims, but tall, tall promises of faster and stricter punishment for those found guilty of rape. Now, with less than a year to go before she goes out to ask for votes again, many are obviously asking if this is just another political exercise in damage control ahead of those elections. In New Delhi, Kashish for NDTV. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.